Hello everybody, Chris Gethin here, and I've got some tips for all of you that are concerned about your hair loss. What? 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 Fortunately, I've never had to deal with this issue. However, I do lead a lifestyle that I would hope would prevent it. Okay, so how to stop hair from falling out? Number one, no alcohol or smoking. Oh, come on! This is shown, okay, to asphyxiate the blood vasodilation, the dilation of your blood vessels, allowing blood flow to get to the area. Obviously, you need the blood flow to your scalp. So you don't want to asphyxiate of that blood flow or the oxygen and the blood to get to your scalp. So I would suggest if you're drinking alcohol or smoking, remove that from your protocol right now. Eat a higher protein diet. Awesome, I love protein. I know you love protein, I love protein too. Yeah, protein rocks. Are you guys talking about protein? I love protein. It doesn't have to be a huge amount of protein, but you need to have protein in there. Protein and the amino acids within that protein are your body building blocks for muscle, obviously, but does help with cell regrowth, such as your skin, such as your nails, your eyesight, and your hair. So you need to make sure that you're having plenty of protein within your diet to support that regrowth. Eat higher fat. Now I don't mean go out and have bacon and load of ghee or just greasy foods. I mean healthy oily foods. So think you can supplement with your omega-3 oils, but have like lots of plenty of oily fish, you know, such as your salmon or your sardines or anything like that. You can also use olive oil on your foods. And a nice clean extra virgin olive oil I would suggest nothing that's rancid, obviously, and definitely no vegetable oils that could be pro-inflammatory. Remove sugar from your diet. <laughs> sugar has been shown to have some inflammatory responses. So I'd suggest that you remove all sugar from your diet. Anything that you could think of, like a lot of sweets, a lot of cookies and cakes, or anything like that, I'd suggest that you knock it on the head right now. And here's some su supplements that I'd suggest. I'm not saying that they would work. However, this is what I'd suggest, and this is what I do. I supplement with zinc and B vitamins, okay? You wanna make sure that you're having plenty of zinc and B vitamins, obviously, from your protein sources. You can supplement them with them if you're not getting plenty from your, like your meat or anything like that. Collagen is something that I like to supplement with. I'll actually put it in my, in my coffee. So let's say if I've got a vanilla-flavored collagen, throw that in my coffee, that helps. Obviously, this helps with a lot of connective tissue, including uh, your hair, nails, skin, etc. One thing that I like to do as well is supplement with pure citrulline because this helps with blood vasculation. It's a nitric oxide precursor. So the better the blood flow to my localized areas, for me to get a pump in the gym, great. But if I could get a blood flow to my head as well, the scalp, of course, that's only going to be a good thing. When you're, mis when you're washing your hair, make sure that you wash it in warm water and make sure you give it a good, gentle massage. You shouldn't scrub it. And it's the same when you're drying your hair. You shouldn't scrub it really hard with a towel and definitely shouldn't brush your hair when your hair is wet, you know, because that's really going to tug at your hair follicles. You should be very gentle. Try not to overwash your hair and wash it too much, especially with a shampoo that's going to dry it out. Make sure that you use a shampoo that has protein in it, that is more of an oil base, and you don't overdo it. It's just nice and easy, okay? So you don't want to wash it too much and not too little either. So, and try to stay away from stress. You always hear about people that get extremely stressed and their hair starts falling out. Try meditating. I didn't put that on there, but it's something that I'd suggest as well. But anyway, here's some tips that will help you, hopefully help every single one of you that are dealing with the stress of your hair from falling out. So don't stress. It's the last thing you want to do. But if you do have any questions for me, please ask them below. Other than that, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. That's all, folks.